I'm Phil in our review software and I don't usually use one of these, but you never know, I might start using one more regularly. What am I talking about? Well, you'll find out soon, but before I tell you, uh, do subscribe to the channel and you'll find out great reviews of software, special deals and all sorts of stuff. And in the link to this video, you will find an amazing deal. It's a lifetime deal at the moment for the software. You can get it for a great price and it's always updated. So if the deal changes, I'll always try and find the best price you can find on the internet. We are talking about a teleprompter. It's called Prompt Smart, and it's quite revolutionary and it does something really unique. If you stop your script and go off script and start waffling, it'll automatically pause and then restart again when you get on script. How amazing is that? Let's jump in and find out about Prompt Smart. Okay, and here we go. And here's the screen you come to once you first install Prompt Smart Studio. And you can add stories, you can add commercials, and you can clear the format. And this is where you're going to create your script, because that's the first point. Before you start reading off the auto queue, you've got to create your script. Just a note, this is the desktop version of Prompt Smart Studio. You also get the app, which you can uh, install onto your iPhone or Android or your iPad. Uh, and you can integrate the two, so you can send scripts to each one. And also, Prompt Smart has got a remote control, but we'll get to that soon. Uh, so there's the script I pasted in. I'm just going to carry on a bit longer and make this script a little bit longer. And then we will try playing it and reading it and see if I can do it. Right, I'm back. And the only reason I've enlarged me is so that you can get an idea of how this works. I just had a little play with it and it is actually quite exciting. So you've got your script ready to go and you click play. Now what it's going to bring up now, I don't want to confuse you too much, but directly behind me, don't worry. What that is, uh, is the mirror image. So you'd be able to take that, see that mirror image there. Say you had a real teleprompter with that proper glass you'd be able to play it back in the mirror image, or you could have that facing forwards. But for what I'm going to use now to try out Prompt Smart is, can you see the small screen there where my mouse is hovering now? All right, that is the script. Now, here's what they claim. They claim that as you read the script, it's automatically going to recognize, this is, if this works, this is like, wow. I had a little play and it was kind of working. I'm just crossing my fingers now we're recording, it was working. So what they claim is that as I read the script, I'm not going to say it now because it'll start scrolling. It starts scrolling. If I pause or I go off script, so if I start talking about something completely different, it will pause again. And then once I get back on script and start scripting and talking again, it will start recording. If this works, it's going to be pretty incredible. I don't know if that looks like I'm looking straight at the lens there, but I've got the way I've got it mounted on my system is I've got the monitor. Uh, where you see the, well, I'll just hover with the mouse, where you see that, that is on the left side of my monitor with my camera directly to the left of it on that side of the screen. So I'm not sure if that looks like I'm looking more or less straight at the lens, but let's give this a try. If this works, then I don't have to give you any more on this. This will be amazing. Right. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to start reading the script. Are you ready? With prompt script, you can access painted speech recognition on scrolling. With Prompt Smart, you can access patented speech recognition. So we've got to leave that in, actually, because here we go. With Prompt Smart, you can access patented speech recognition on scrolling, which is not working. With Prompt Smart, you can access patented speech recognition on scrolling, which is designed to help you record content in fewer takes. The voice track engine will automatically stop scrolling when you pause, improvise, or even go off script. So you can pick right up back where you left off. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm going to leave off for a minute to see if it works. And then I'm going to come back. This is impressive. You can also control your prompter manually, thanks to the user-friendly web-based remote control. Plus, you'll be able to record in up to 4K resolution and make video content that's always crisp and high quality. Prompt Smart lets you invert the text display. All right, it didn't work there. Always crisp and high quality. Prompt Smart lets you invert the text display for physical teleprompter rigs and use duplicate displays for multiple cameras. You can position your script below a webcam using a semi transparent window when you're presenting at an online conference. It's good, isn't it? Uh, for transparency, it's not perfect, but I think the more you use it, you'll get used to it. Filming for a video or live broadcast. 
use your phone or tablet as a physical teleprompter. So go to my link and get prompt script today. So wow. It is a wow. And bear in mind, this is the first time I've used it. And I've not got used to if there's any hotkeys or if there's a way to activate it so it's recognizing your voice. But I can see that, wow, if you get this working, bear in mind with all this software, it's developing all the time. So this AI voice recognition thing that seems to be taking over in the software world at the moment is improving all the time, getting more accurate. <laughs> My mind's been a bit blown away by that. Now, to me, that's all I need to review. You can do it on your phone as well. I will probably test it and the phone app and see if it does the same thing in another video. And of course, what you can do is you can upload a file or write a file within prompt script. And once that file's there on your cloud in prompt script, you can either share it on your screen, on your desktop or your laptop, or you can share it on your phone. And there's also remote control options. Now, what are the differences between the individual version and the team version is on the individual version, you only get one folder to keep your scripts in and you only get one option. So one other device can work the remote control so that somebody can be your like teleprompter operator and speed it up, slow it down. Uh, on the team version, more people can do that and you get more control. But we're going to jump into my conclusions now. So when I use prompt script, yes, wow. My mind has been a bit blown away by prompt script. I have over the years used lots of teleprompters. When I've been working by myself, I've always struggled with them because you set them off rolling and you set the speed up for it and you read and if like me, you make mistakes, you're like, oh, and you can't rewind it and it doesn't really work for you. So unless you have got somebody else who will sit there and work the teleprompter, they're a pretty useless tool. But the fact that this does voice recognition and pauses when you either stop or go off script. It's like pretty amazing. I like it a lot. Is it versatile? Well, it does what it says on the tin, as I say. I'm not going to look at the app just now in this video, but just for using your desktop and recording, it looks like it is cool and versatile. If you are lucky enough to have a chrome, a, a, gra a glass, you know, see through glass like a proper teleprompter, you can reverse the image so it projects onto the mirror and it looks the right way around for you, or you can just read it off the screen like I was there. It looks like it does everything, as you, as I say, you can save your scripts and share them to different devices, and you can have another team member working the teleprompter. So yes, it is versatile. Would I recommend it to friends? Of course I would. If they make videos, or if you clash yourself as my friend because you make videos, and you've found my channel, I recommend it to you. Uh, click the link in my description and get it for the best price available. I always update the link if there's a better deal or if that deal ends and a new one becomes available. And I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. I always try and keep these things real as if I'm a first time user with not the immense knowledge of someone who's been using it for, for years, because that's how you'll be coming to the software if you use it for the first time. So I hope you enjoy my videos and I hope I will see you for the next one very soon.